Hi, this is Ken with 3D Virtual Tours Austin. Uh, today I want to show you how to move your Matterport models between your iPad and your computer. First thing is make sure you have iMazing installed on your computer. Uh, make sure you have this logo when you're looking for the iMazing. Um, I use the free version. I can't speak to the, the paid version. The free version does everything I need it to do. So my workflow, the first thing I do, I created a, a folder to put all my models into, and I'll explain why later. Um, you want to do this every five to ten models on your iPad. It just makes it easier to do, and again, you'll see in a minute why. Um, once I have the folder, I'm going to open that up, and there's two ways to do this. One is to create a new folder for each model on your iPad that's visible right now. So you look at the model, and I create a folder, and I name it the same name as I have of the model. Uh, if you get too many models on your iPad and you have to go back and do this later, you're going to see where you have to open it up, look for what you're looking for, then go back and make a, a folder. Um, it gets really confusing. So this is the easiest way i found is just stay on top of it, keep it organized, uh, and, and not get behind. So once you've got your three folders open, plug in your iPad. Once your iPad is plugged in and you bring up the iMazing, what you want to do is once you've got your iPad selected, you want to open apps. Open your capture app. Open documents open jobs. Once your jobs are open, you can see that the names are just out of whack. It's, and this is why I tell you to stay on top of it because it's hard to figure out which model is which. So you open the first folder, you're going to get a lot of stuff. I have no idea what these are. They're different scan points. There's no way to look at those and figure it out. Look for your, your thumbnail right here, your, your floor thumbnail. Open that up. Uh, Whatever it takes for you to look at it, I like to enlarge them, double check. I want to verify, recognize, the looking at that floor plan, I know what model it is. Um, so we go back to that model, click on Copy to Mac. Now you've got to look for the folder. So up at the top, you're going to go to your wherever you have the folder. You have to find it um, the first time, and sometimes I have to look. This is Dogtopia, so I click the Dogtopia folder, and I hit Continue. Now you'll see the little blue line moving. This takes a while. Let's come back to it. All right, we're back, and it's finishing up now. So once it's done, I, I typically like to clear it. It's up to you. Uh, but what I do, I verify a lot. So I go over to the Mac folder. Click on Dogtopia, open it up, and I want to make sure that it's in the folder. I would rather verify six times here than lose something I can't go back and recapture. Uh, find that, that um, thumbnail again, look at it. Yes, that is the Dogtopia model I wanted to save. So I can go back now, uh, back to the iPad model, and delete that model off my iPad. Now, if you look at your iPad after you delete this, it will not disappear. Okay, we're going to go over that in a second. So I click on the next model, open it up, and when this one opens up, I see it's a model that I don't want to delete or, re or move just yet. So now I'm going to have a model at the beginning of my row. This is where it starts to get confusing when you have too many. So now I have to move on to the second folder. Sometimes you get a folder with, I don't know, something in it. it just I don't know where this comes from. Um, and this is where I can either put it in a other scans folder or I delete them. Typically I delete them because I'm not sure what they do and I haven't had a problem with it yet. Um, so I get rid of that one. And you, again, you have to keep track of which folder you're on as they come off of your, off, uh, uh, from iMazing because they're not disappearing off of your, your, uh, your iPad. So we're on the second one again. Open this up, find my thumbnail. Enlarge it till I can see which tour that was. I happen to recognize this one as Sunrise Montessori. 
So I'm going to go back. Uh, I want to do this one. Every once in a while you get confused, you get distracted. Again, I would rather go back multiple times and double, triple, verify here where it's easy with the thumbnail that I'm getting the right tour. Um, so yes, this one is Sunrise Montessori. Okay, I know where it's at. It's the second folder on the first row. So I'm going to go ahead and move that to uh, the Mac. Now you have to go up and select the new folder. Okay, so Sunrise Montessori is done. I don't know if y'all caught that a minute ago. Um, when you move these, you have to go back up. Make sure you're you're selecting your destination uh, in the right place. Go, I go back to the folder um, and get them into the right folder. Because if you start putting two models, I've done it. You put two models into the same folder later on. It's very hard to find them, and it's hard to figure out what it is. So again, I go back to the Mac folder, double check. Yes, it's Sunrise Montessori. It loaded onto the Mac so I can delete that tour from uh, that model from the iPad. Again, double, triple checking. I want to make sure that I keep this stuff organized because if I go back six, seven months later, I'm going to struggle under remembering what that floor plan is. So when you go to your iPad, those, those are still on there. Go ahead and swipe your, your uh, capture app away. Um, you want to you want to turn off your capture app when you bring it back up now when you look at the capture app you will see that all of the uh, tours that you've moved are now off the capture app so you basically have to reset capture to get them off of there so when you let's go backwards now um, when it's time to put a model back on your iPad you have to go back out and recapture something you hit click on copy to iPad again go back up here locate your source. Uh, this time it's going backwards here, so locating the source. Find the tour you want and copy to, um, copy to iPad. So it's the same thing, it's just in reverse. The little drop down uh, menu at the top of iAmazing, depending on which direction you're going, you're gonna look for either uh, the destination folder or the source folder. Um, this one I just happen to be putting it back on the iPad. So once that's back, same thing, you go back and swipe up Get your your uh, capture app reset turn it back on and the model is back on your capture app this is a step that's tricky as you have to reset your capture it's like the first time you do it it didn't disappear and it didn't come back where is it what happened make sure you do the reset from there delete your scans as you need to i'm deleting this one back off of the ipad because it's still in uh, I double check, it's still on the computer, so I'm good. Um, here's where it's still on the computer, so now I know I can delete it off the iPad. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I, I hope this helped. Um, I know a lot of people have questions with this, and this is a great way to keep your iPad cleaned up and, and not have all the extra uh, stuff on there slowing you down. And hopefully it'll save you a little bit of money on additional iPads that we don't necessarily need if we have the uh, ability to, to offload everything. Thank you.